Hi friend, welcome again. This is Alok. Today we will learn how to create how to call get REST API call by using Apache HTTP client. In the previous video, we have imported Apache client library and we had created certain flavors of the HTTP client. This video we will call this get endpoints. So for that I will be using this request.in website. It, it gives the sample get, post, put, patch, delete calls. Remember that we are talking about the different request methods. These are the different request methods that is executed by HTTP HTTP client. Let's go to the code. I have created one get method in the HTTP call action that takes the URI and HTTP client. Let's make its endpoint. So URL is made up of base URI plus endpoint. For URI, I am using the URI builder of Apache HTTP client. Let's make URI builder. URI builder will be using base URI plus the endpoint. This returns URI. Let's write it in try catch because during this exercise it will throw certain exceptions that we will cut it in exceptions let's use a dot okay exception a dot let's catch it in message Okay, so you are a builder, you have to build this. You get this URI. Once you get the URI, every asset client met client class has execute method that execute your request. So it takes this HTTP request I should get request is nothing but different flavor of the exec, uh, execute methods. HTTP get is one of them that is used for this get request. Let's initialize it. Provide by Apache. It takes the URI. Now, if you have any headers, you can set here in the instance of HTTP get. See here, you can set the headers. Let's call this by response. Response equal to STP client dot execute and it has argument text STP client response. Once we get this response, I am setting it in the response. of HTTP response. Let's check if response is not equal to null.
okay i have set it now i can use letter by this get method let's format it now i have to use this get call in one of my different class get method call see i have provided endpoint as api users as you can go if you go to this website you can see you have api users forward slash 2 is the id if you want to call this id you have to provide the endpoint now let's call it to call http call actions dot get it required the endpoint and also also the closable http client you remember we have created closable http client in to call action let's use ssl this call will it will save this response in the response of parameter this variable it will set here later we can use that by calling http response equal to we'll call action get get response let's check if it is 200 for to check we will use http response dot get status line dot get status code let's run it okay it is 200 once it is 200 let's go back and create for i am printing the response so you need to re read the response body of that http get for that since it is a stream i am using scanner Or scanner it required input stream let's add it input stream is nothing but response input string dot get entity get content content return give me to the stream this stream you have to iterate it I will put some condition as next until it has next line I'm printing let's print in print sc dot next why scanner scanner is also implements closable you remember closable it is convenient in use let's run it see response is printed now i will i will tell how to use this request by query param so anything from after question is the query param in the get call for that you don't have to do anything this is the endpoint and query is page you have to go there in the get call and in the uri builder you have to just set parameter parameter key is page and value is two just go to the this class call it see here for page two we 
get this response. That's it. Thank you.